perfect. Look like at how perfect that so is. So good. So now that Like just the perfect amount of space. A little bit of room to that side if you need it. I think that's gonna be good. We're gonna put it on our front porch, but like like I said, we we just want to sit. we sit back here. That's where we sit. No, so it'll be good to see if it goes here and then uh, the the next camp the key will be what is that? Is it <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it'd be weird if it was cinder black. Cinder with, black, but I don't, yeah. I don't think it would be. I think something like that. Maybe the corners, but I'm not even sure about the corners. So yes. I would think it's all wood framed in, and it's a support structure, you know, obviously with a roof. So there's got to be something good here. But if not, we have we have a plan. Sounds good. Yeah, one way or the other, we got a plan. Good job, babe. Okay, so the true test on these assemblies that we do with the furniture and stuff like that is how much hardware do they come with? That's the telltale. <laughs> and all I'm seeing so far is this little tiny bag of screws. It comes with an Allen wrench form. We got some, uh, what are these called? The hikers use them. Carabiners? Carabiners, yeah. It's got, it comes with the carabiners for each corner. And then up at the ceiling, it comes with a little bag of washers, little flat washers there. So it looks very painless, babe. Do you want to be on? Do you want to be on the instructions? <laughs> instructions. <laughs> <laughs> sure, babe. Step one: you put this here. Four-piece construction. Not bad. She wants to pay. Okay, wait. Look at those eyes. She's so intense. <laughs> she's like, she never learned to bring it back and no, drop she's, it off No, she's her. like, keeps it, licks it. All right, so we got 64 and a half today. 64 and a half. Okay. And the tape measure should be three inches. 64. Is this one three inches? Feels like it's all oh, those dirty dogs. I grew up my whole life with them being three inches. Look at this, two and seven eighths. Oh, it actually tells you. Yeah. What? That's terrible. Has anybody though. ever seen that in their entire life? Honey, it's a whole eighth inch off. Honey. Okay. So, anyways. I didn't even know that. I, I'm glad you got to learn something new. Okay. So. Three point six eight seven five. Even right now, you're testing to see if we even have yeah, any. Yeah, I want to see what's underneath the stucco. If it's a, like a wood header underneath there, or am I just going to pop through nothingness? Let's hope. Yeah, because there's, if there's nothing underneath it, I'm going to have, I got the mason screws, you know, so Can't but I'll have to it. put like a, like a subboard under there and just use like four corner screws, possibly some adhesive. Man, but if, you know, if that thing collapses, it's literally going to rip this whole thing out. <laughs> That's so bad. So we're gonna hope for the best. Hope we see some wood chips come out. Oh my goodness. What's that, babe? Solid stone? That's solid stone. I guess no hurricane to push this down. That's awesome. Okay, so a uh, different approach there. Okay. I think we'll have to use uh, like the masonry anchor, like I oh, use for, yeah, my, yeah. for my signs and stuff, there the epoxy, you go. the sickle flex. There you go. Yeah, so we'll drill out a bigger hole. Where are we gonna go, babe? Where are we gonna go to get that? <laughs> do you think, you're say, do you think say it. Lowe's even carries Sikaflex? <laughs> say it, babe. <laughs> say it. L O. I hope Lowe's has Sikaflex. <laughs> 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 Just kick me off kick the ladder. You off? Don't touch me. <laughs> wow. Is it concrete though? What is That's it? awesome. There you go. Concrete beam in the house. Oh my goodness. House. We're talking like some hurricane proof, baby. 
Oh, see Maxine, there you are. She found her spot. Oh, she's like, <laughs> she found her sleeping spot on the swing. She's like, oh, new dog bed. Looking good. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to film him coming up and I'm like, where is he coming from? There you go, babe. A little rainy. <laughs> A little rainy outside. I guess so. We're at our favorite store and the rain just decided to come down. Oh uh, yeah. See if we would have drove over to Home Depot. I know. Would have rained and Five been hours fine. later we would have been. I thought you were parked over there though. It wasn't you. Huh. Everything's getting washed. Look over by our house. I know. Hopefully it's not raining it's not at bad. all. It doesn't look bad. Sorry. Look at it. It's like free sample. You can try out a screw. Oh, there's only one. Yeah. Probably all well, round it out. That's no fun. Out Kids now. out here drilling in, making it all crazy. Yeah. Good one. Oh, all right. What are we going for? Here. We're going for some. I'm just wondering if they have some uh, concrete anchors. I'd like to kind of see what they have for those. Okay. But here's your tap terms. Concrete drywall right here. Look awful small. Yeah, this, this is something that has to hold in my body. body. Okay, I think we need two of these screw eyes right here. Oh, that's a big beefy screw. That's, that's what I'm talking need. about right there. It's cool though, they have black too. Look at Yeah, that is really nice. Nice little flick. Black dec outside. Decorative. I feel like this can hold you. I mean, these are pretty good for the swings. The kids used to swing those in the mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're fun. Only once in a while they cracked open. Yep. Well, the good thing about these, you just have to keep, you know, keep an eye on these for rust. These yeah. ones, you don't have to worry about that so much. Oh, maybe that'd be better Here, Okay, this, this is one. a 205 pound load. What are those? Mm, well, bad boys right 190. Okay, so. About the same? About the same. And we're distributing across two. This is three and seven eighths. It's five and a quarter. Is that bigger? Where are you seeing that? It's like three. Oh, and those seven. are much shorter. Shorter, right? So probably that one. Mm. Only three dollars. I don't want to have to drill up that far into the cement. Okay. Yeah, these are like what? I don't know what these are. You know what I mean. So do you want shiny, slippery? Let me fall off your concrete, or this looks like it grips <laughs> to it. Well, there's going to be more more uh, surface area to hold in there. I think so. Okay, we're gonna get two of those. <clears throat> Just so they don't rust. Yeah, because they don't definitely rust. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool though. Look at they got the pounds on there and everything. Where this, know, it's, really cool. it's like hidden. I think these are more for some reason. I feel like these are like $5. They got shorter ones though. Yeah. Let us fall right out. Yeah, we want we want the most amount of surface area. There we go. Yeah, I guess. Just saw porch swing springs. I think it goes in the spring, right? Yep. It might be good to get. I don't know what the price is. They blocked it out. Or maybe it's a nine, a ten dollars. I'm probably sure it is. That might be something good. Yeah. See how they're, see, it, just, the it, it just interfaces with the chain and the no, swing. No, our chain is probably one solid chain, right? I didn't even look at it. Is it bad to hang it from the top? No. From it, the it doesn't matter where you put it. This nice. is this is literally second flex, but the best. Nice. Mm-hmm. That. So get two of these. Oh, but here's black. Oh, nice. But everything else is. I know. I mean, everything it's but the hooks. Like we need black chain too, right? Yeah, yeah. this would be good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. See the package over there. Look at these. These are 190 pounds. Come over here. Oh, why is this more? The smaller one, because of the it, length. Yeah, the length of it. So this holds more. Now these ones over there, there was nothing. And then was, this is tighter. That was only 190. Yeah, that'd be harder to unfold than okay. a bigger loop. Huh. And the carabiner's gonna fit either one, right? I don't know. Okay. Two of these bad boys, We're gonna, gonna go. These, oh wait, is it this yeah, one? Yeah, the they're rated higher. Okay, we're gonna put back our fancy black ones. Okay. Feel okay. content? Do you feel content and good? Mm -hmm. They say mason bits here and there's not one single mason bit. Let's try over here. Metal and masonry drill bits. Yeah. Bosch. You know what? Like. I feel like I have one. You feel or you know? <laughs> I know I got one. I just don't know if it's the condition of it. Okay. But I've, I've you got, probably would have used it, right? I've got a little fancy grinder. You can grind it? So I can grind it sharp. Okay. Versus spending another 10 bucks, you know? Honey, you're so frugal. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to pick you up, baby. Honey, it's so free. Let's run to the car. <laughs> Where are you at? Over there. All the way over, over there. there. <laughs> yeah, all about a half mile. Half a mile down there. Enough time getting our stuff. Perfect. It did, did definitely drop the temperature. It definitely sure. did. Let's see if it's any. Let's see if it's not at our house though, hopefully. No, not. Look at it. It looks like it's been clear over there. Though. Okay, the swing required an awesome trip to my favorite store. It was a, it was a pretty good trip. 
We got some These porch are swing. so cool and I cannot wait to try them. Genius, right? Hooks on this side, hooks on that side, spring in the middle between the two. Nice. So that's gonna be super cool. <clears throat> Give us a little bit of spring. Cause you know, this, guy, this big body can use some spring. Some spring. Extra clevis there. Great. Sure. Look at all the tools. I think these not like seen YouTube videos. Anchoring it. Good job. Yeah, yeah. I remember having all that stuff. Okay, so we'll need your razor knife, I guess. Try something to poke through this. The good thing about this is that it'll, we'll have it for a while. Mm hmm. Might need some more holes somewhere. Look at that. You tell me that's not industrial right there. Oh, wow. Yeah, you cut this off and then see how this is. Yeah, fluted. Mm -hmm. it, as, it, as a twist, it mixes. That's cool. Jeez. Yeah, this is really awesome stuff. I've used this lots and lots of times. Nice. Think you'll make it before the rain? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> We're covered though. But maybe. We'll go ahead and try to bury this right up to here. So the shank is in there. So we got to be like that deep on this. All right, all right here so we go. that's a long way to go. So you're going to put that all up there? Mm hmm So I can run back in the house and finish up dinner yeah. while you're screwing this in? You absolutely can. Because it's going to be hard, right? Yeah, it'll take me... Well, I have to go through two drills. I have to do this one, and then I have to switch over to the big half inch. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to take me a minute to get these prepared. So Look at that. Go. Holes. Look at that. It's yeah. concrete. Yeah, so what I've done is I've drilled in there, and then I kind of wobbled the back out of, out of it, so it makes sort of like a bulb in there. Okay. And then I took the smaller drill and I drilled on angles this way and that way. So the epoxy will fill in those channels, be a ball, you know, at the bottom of it and be very hard to pull out. So we you'd won't to, fall. You'd have to fail past the bulb and the little cross. Channel. I don't want to swing and fall and hit your <laughs> banana trees. It's the only thing growing, babe. <laughs> the green onions are safe right here, but that's about it. <laughs> All right, so we got our Sika Flex ready to go. Mix Look up. at this one. Sometimes you have to to waste, you know, some at the beginning of it until it, it, it's mixing gray. You see how it's kind of, you just oh, now starting to see the white come into okay. it. So what can I spooge that on? And it's... There, those dirty dude. dog Lowe's. Oh, there's another one there, right? Honey, Lowe's is a piece of junk, bro. Ah. Hey. I need both of them because... Oh. They don't, you know. Can you cut the end? Now I'm gonna waste the whole tube. Yep, so see, once you get that consistent color yeah. coming out, you're ready to make some cement. See how nice. it is? You don't wanna make that mistake and use this first or okay. never, never hard. Okay, set up. Yep, yep, yep. So, okay. We only got a few minutes here, so, you know, I wanna definitely get the loose dust out of the hole. And give us half a good chance at bonding. It was really nice. This is the first time that I've ever got to use this stuff and the dust fell out of the hole. Oh, because it's always been down that you've yeah. done it. You know, oh, that's true. So I'll really catch cool in there. For an hour, dust will still come out. Okay. So this was really cool. Oh, look at the hibises are back there over the fence. Let's see. You're only you. <laughs> I'm just filling those little cross holes now. Okay. And I'll go right into the bottom of it. It seems doing better and better. She's getting older. She doesn't like the thunder at all. No. Shakes usually in pants and house, but she's like outside here with oh, us. Poor baby. You can go inside with Maddie. There's another cross hole going this way. And then this this one actually poked through a little bit up top there. Nice. Just enough to where that. There's something up there. I can get a good amount of coverage up top there, you know, like it'll make like a mushroom up the top of it. Okay. So this one will be super, super strong. Get a paper towel for you. So positive living here in hot, hot Florida. It only takes 40 minutes to cure. Yeah, it says it, gel <laughs> it gels in one minute, which is, tr which is true. Because I, like, I asked, I asked Amy to get the, some tape ready to help hold that. Yeah, and it was already uh, done. Bolt up and before she was even able to get it off the roll, it was already set, starting to set. So we're going to have our swing right there. It'll be so nice. Like wow. I said, eventually, couch over here. We'll put our table over there. And we got to cover the table. It keeps blowing up. Absolutely amazing. Very good. To have like a, that Y. Yeah, in between. It. So let's just hang up to each side, right? And then one in the middle. We might have to get a picture involved. I need to triangle it. I don't even know what you're talking about. Like, find the middle. 
There you go. Grab that coin right there at the top. Grab that coin thing and just think it's that. hang in the middle. It's that? It's that, babe. Ready? No, I don't Let's think Let's do it by eyeballs. <gasps> oh, here comes the thunder. Because that puts like this all weird on this. It's going to be weird that way. Nice, right? You know what I mean? Like, that doesn't seem right. So, so. Come put Maxine inside. She don't like the thunder. Maddie, call Maxine, would you? Okay, the moment of truth is who's gonna sit on it first? <laughs> I should even try to, I should even take a sip of my coffee while I'm sitting Honey, there. Honey, might spill coffee on the cushions. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Sorry. You gonna sit with it? Okay. Oh. Ugh. Oh, I like the screens. Nice. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Too low? Uh, that's pretty low. Okay. Okay, here's the true test. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Let's see. I'm not gonna have my coffee in hand though. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. You go first. <laughs> go ahead and swing so I can kind of monitor it. Safe. Oh, they're so in there. That's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's so nice. That is so beautiful. Like no movement. Can you go higher? Sound. Here. Almost a little uncomfortable. Yeah, oh, the, the problem is, uh, the oh my gosh. I know. <laughs> this will be the best moment caught on YouTube ever. <laughs> oh, look up, look up. See how anchored there? That's epoxy right in the concrete for like three inches up in there with anchoring holes. Do we compress the spring? <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, there's still some more spring in there. Okay. Oh, look at that. I'm like yanking out. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show my handiwork. <laughs> Good. What Should do you, I go you, up a little bit more? Feel? Already thinking now. Do you want your feet sort of gliding out yeah, of the ground? Yeah, which other feet bit? more up? Versus having to hold them up? Yeah. Sure. I'm scared that whole time. <laughs> She's like bouncing. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> She's going to be like, get off the swing. It's only enough for one. We're gonna move it up a little bit because your feet are still kind of like. We want that gliding. Where yeah, that gliding where this is like touching. So like two yeah. more. I think it's perfect before the springs compress. Probably. Yeah. So we should probably go up on three more. Three more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yesterday I made the bagel dough and then I never just got busy and I was not able to finish it in the afternoon so I put it in the refrigerator. So I woke up this morning and threw another batch in. This is the batch I'm dumping in here. And then I've got the other one. I've just got to let it rise up and then I will be able to make it into the bagel shape. But what I'm going to do for tonight, we are down, like I said, we're down to gathering fragments and doing things. Even though we're going to go to the store today just to get some bread and milk, I also 
I was looking in my freezer for what to make and I've got a lot of some ground chicken so I thought I could make chicken patty sandwiches tonight but I have no hamburger buns so I thought you know what I could go to the store when I go today and just grab a package of hamburger buns and I thought you know what I've made hamburger buns before why don't I just make some so that is what I'm gonna do put the ingredients in the bread machine I'll put the recipe on the screen very simple and easy Okay, my dough is already risen, so I um, had it sitting outside to get warm, so it's going. I'm gonna try something different. I've never used like the like the circle cutter outer. I've always just used um, my fingers. They said it was better, but why is it better? Why can't you use the punch out thing? We're gonna try it, then I can make little tiny bagel bites. Now let's try something different with this one. I'm gonna try rolling out the dough, cutting it in circles, and putting it down, see how it rises. Okay, I'm doing trial and error here. I'm gonna see how these turn out. Those ones, they're already rising up. I have to leave and then when I get back, they're gonna be really full. I know that it might be a mistake. We're gonna be hopeful. I don't know about doing them too flat if it's gonna make a difference or not. We'll see, I also have hamburger buns. So I'm gonna roll those out real quick. So I gotta head out, we're gonna run to the store. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Okay, I didn't even start my vlog out today because I started with where we ended last night and then where we were going with this morning. So we had the swing. Swing is gonna be a great place for us to kind of chill and hang out on. It's just toasty. This morning we sat there for a little bit. I'm like, it's really hot out here. <laughs> so we'll do it tonight. We'll sit and relax by the pool when the sun is down. It'll be beautiful. So I made my bagels this morning and I've got the hamburger buns. They are rising. I know they're gonna be, like you're not supposed to rise rice 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 the hamburger buns you're just supposed to put them in the oven so i don't know what i'm gonna go home to but i had to do what i gotta do so we'll see we'll go home and see what we gotta do but i have to run at the store because i just dropped brooklyn off at work i'm gonna run to aldi we're on minimal groceries purchasing so i just need some staples i need milk i need a few eggs and i'll need some bread sandwich bread for sandwiches and is that it I think that's all that's on my list. Of, yeah, I think that was enough to look at my thing, but I think that's it. Just to, to kind of stretch and get through for the next, um, till next week. Next week, I gotta do a Sam's Club shopping trip. You know, it's like, we've gone a long time. We've gone a long time and have not gone, besides little minor things. I mean, we went when everybody was not feeling well. We had the minor surgery. That was just quick Publix, but not like a fill up on grocery kind of thing. So we're, we're getting creative with our meals, which is really nice. So let's go into Aldi and get what we gotta get. This is $1.25. This definitely tides over. Simple sandwiches, simple stretch. Just need one of these for, for our well, should I get two? I'm gonna get one more pack of hot dog buns because I do have one at home and we do have hot dogs, that's something we can make. And this is something I see I'm grabbing groceries because I know we're out. The kids ate, we had s'mores last night inside. So I think that was the rest of my graham crackers. We'll get another one right here, I know. Stop, get out of the aisles, Amy. Isn't that crazy? Oh, you know what I'm gonna get? It's more fakey butter because I'm here. Fakey butter because it's cheap. It's $1.24. It's good for like baking. I don't mind it. Probably just in a normal minute. We'll use it. I think we're gonna get this for coffee. Get one of those. I'm gonna have to get a bunch of these, so I might as well get them here. And then that way, I'm only real close to home, so it doesn't have to stay cold for so long. Versus like when I go to Sam's Club and Walmart, which is further away. I'm gonna get eight of those because that will definitely get ranking up. Like so, 255. I think they're much cheaper at Sam's, but just to tide us over till uh, 
next week. Perfect, so I need another week not having to get a whole lot and this will tide us over for sure until I go huge shopping. So this is good, gathering fragments. Like the good thing about having a little bit extra in your home and in your pantry, now you don't have to have a full-fledged store. Great if you do or if you want to, that's fine, is that you can always kind of stretch. You gotta stretch a month, you can stretch out the month that you need and you get very like I'm getting so creative with my stuff I'm like oh, what can we have today what can we have today you know what's made me do it's made me dive into my old cookbooks and look up old recipes and I'm like oh that would be fun to make oh that'd be fun to make so it's a good thing so now I'm gonna go head home I won't show you anything I got you saw it on the video milk milk eggs butter half and half and bread and hot dog buns and I got some soda for Greg for work so that's it so now I'm gonna go home put this in the refrigerator let's go check on our bread that has risen up see if it's uh out of control or what and then uh, we can ma finish making those and we can kind of continue on with our day and it's great sunshine right now all good things let's go okay kids are watching videos love it my stuff did not rise up too overflowing bad look at these are the hamburger buns not bad at all they need to be a little louder but that's okay those few minier ones these are not looking too bad either for the bagels. Obviously, there's a little bit better, but the flatter ones, not too bad. So I'm gonna take these, brush egg white on them, and then stick them in the oven, and these I'll dip in water for two minutes, bring them back out, we'll put an egg wash on them as well, and then we'll bake them. I got the fan on because it definitely gets hot in here with that oven on. So I have got um, little hamburger things came out. They're nice and tall. The issue with having everything sit out and rise up, obviously they're gonna be a little extra risen. And even the don't, not the donuts, they look like donuts. The bagels, you can tell some just got a little too, too much risen. That's okay. They'll still get eaten, they'll be delicious. But these will cool off, these will be great. I'm gonna make my chicken patties that I'm gonna do for dinner tonight now so I can be done. I will put the recipe on the screen, mix together, make, make patties, fry it over here in olive oil. We'll put on those nice little cute hamburger buns. getting done in the kitchen finished chicken is done the buns are done those will make really nice little patties for dinner tonight with lettuce i don't have any cheese i've shredded cheese and chick-fil-a sauce let me put this on i'm gonna leave the pan on because it is um i still have the oven on the bagels are still cooking in there they're doing really good and then um <laughs> it's, it's summer so kids are doing their thing they have to come do their chores in a minute that's why there's dishes all in the sink or the dishwasher overflowing ready to be put away went to my mailbox and got some beautiful beautiful letters from miss carol thank you miss carol she always seems to know i know she's i know she's in touch with god <laughs> i know she is <laughs> and many others as well so i thank you for your beautiful encouragement and your gift cards to take the kiddos out to lunch she knows where my kids like where do my kids like to go they like to go to oh where's the carpet they are Chick-fil-A and McDonald. They like those two places. The boys like McDonald's, girls like Chick-fil-A, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods. My favorite store. So thank you so much for that. And then I opened up this letter from Sandy. Very sweet. Very sweet. It's reading your stories and reading. I love reading your guys's, you know, your life, your stories, and you guys sharing your encouragement to me. And, you know, you see people go through all different things in their life. And, like, hearing your stories and things you're going through, grief and loss and 
but how you still have your strength in the Lord to keep going and just keep going on. And it's a beautiful, beautiful encouragement. That's why I think as body of believers, we um, encourage one another through things in our lives and share by the word of our testimony. As the Bible says, they overcame by the word of their testimony because you read things and you're like, wow, how, look how that person can pull through that. And like, they're still making it. They're still doing it. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's just an encouragement. I know it's encouragement to me. And for her letter, you know what I get? She gave me, this This was like nostalgic for me. It made me go, oh my goodness, my mom was here. And let me tell you why, because my mom would come. Back in the day, she used to cut coupons. I mean, she would literally just go through her newspaper when they used to put them, the ads in your, the coupons right in your newspaper. She would cut them all out, even if you didn't need them or not. And she'd always let you go through them. She'd leave them in her beauty shop so her older clients could come and go through them if they wanted them. She was very good like that. But she did that for recipes as well. And so she gave me all these old recipes here. But going through these, look at there's all these old recipes. Coney Island sauce, 1988. Homemade shake and bake. Poppy seed salad dressing. This looks really good. Cocoa banana cupcakes. I have, I think, all of these ingredients. I think I'm gonna make this one and this too. Coconut loaf. This looked really good to do with my coconut, um, <laughs> you know, the topping that I didn't really love for my, my toast. I think I'm gonna make that. And here's a pineapple nut bread. So I might do those ones right but there's just so many. So I thank you for that. It just made me like, I was going through them and I'm like, Oh my goodness, this is like, I mean, like perfect. Like the cutout is perfect and nice and neat. And I was just like, this reminds me of what my mom would do. So thank you for those, Sandy. Those are so sweet. So I am going to um, do these because like, I'm, like I said, I'm down on the groceries. Not down, but we have stuff. But I'm like, ooh, I think I have all of these ingredients for multiple things here. So I'm going to be making these hopefully tomorrow. So thank you for that and for your words of encouragement, your little story. And it's just beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And then Carolyn, you, uh, Carolyn, Carolyn, and Carolyn, Carolyn, you gave a beautiful encouragement to me as well. So I love, love reading, like just encouragement from believers in Christ. And then cute, look at these little bookmarks. These go in my Bible because I have it marked all the time when I use sticky notes and everything else. So thank you for that. So it's just beautiful. It's like, you know, reading, like I, you know, I shared in a video this past Sunday about grief and loss and you know I had a lot of stories that you guys have given me beforehand and you know and I wanted to share to help encourage for that and then like as I filmed that and did it then I continued getting these letters and it's just like an encouragement to me to go okay yeah like God you're so good thank you Lord for direction thank you for bringing together body of believers even though like I probably would never ever get to run into Sandy Carol or Carolyn never get to see you if I just stayed in my own little world of my life, right? But be able to like meet people, become friends on the internet and be able to encourage and share. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing that we have. So I wanted to thank you for that. This has been sitting here. I'm like, I wanted to thank you for those letters. It just really blessed my heart. So I'm excited. I'm going to try some little recipes, hopefully tomorrow. So today's been a good pool day. We, I ended up doing like a lot of in-between stuff here and there and getting dinner and then we swam for a while and then took a break and then had to run, pick up Brooklyn and then um, back in the pool. I'm like, it's just been a good swimming day today. Just nice, the water feels great. We had thought we we're gonna have thunderstorms and then we didn't. Every kid has come out on this today. Every kid, they keep coming out and they're like, oh, this is the greatest swing. So I think this is gonna be the favorite of everybody. I'm pretty sure it is because it's nice and comfy. It's relaxing. This morning we were out here and it was just a little toasty. I would like to get out tomorrow, maybe tomorrow morning, a little bit earlier. Come out here, read my Bible. This would be really nice because it would be nice. Not kind of next to the pool, you know, but still like be able to swing and just good relaxing. So it's good. So great day today. Another good day. Getting things done, relaxing, enjoying life, enjoying the summer, making some food. Oh, by the way, the food. Let me show you dinner here. Yeah, like everybody said, like my little <laughs> hamburger rolls, you know, they're a little bit round. The kids were like, these are so great. Everybody thought dinner was delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. I was like, wow. I'm like, hopefully they'll be good. They ate a bunch of bagels today. And um, I have a lot of salami and a lot of cream cheese in the refrigerator. And so they've been eating those. And then they, they love dinner if they said it was delicious. So I'm like, that's a win overall. So I'll definitely be thinking to make those, like the hamburger buns. Instead of buy, I buy them. I do buy them. There's nothing wrong buying them. There's nothing wrong with doing anything. Even if, even if we say we do something, it doesn't mean we care if anybody else does. Like, go ahead and do those things. And so, buying buns, don't buy the buns. I've done both. We've done both. So it's been, uh, it was very tasty, very delicious. Definitely, we'll do that again. You forget. It's like, you know, you get into like a routine. I think of life and like, it's like uh, we moved, life got busy, a lot of busy, a lot of extra 
you know, stress, stress of like finding things, figuring out where we're going to be at, just adjusting to new life, all those things. And, you know, you cut corners on life. And so food is one of them. You've got to eat more. You buy, you know, easy to grab meals or just quick ones or just sometimes the same ones. And then it's like, okay, get back into your routine of like things you've made. I've made hamburger buns in a long time. I don't even think I've ever made them on my channel. I don't think I ever have. So it's been even before YouTube here that I made them, but definitely good things that we've been enjoying so it's been good good to get back to those kind of things you know time and life and you be able to do it that's a good thing so i hope that your day is going well and that if you have a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you again tomorrow with another video all right see you tomorrow bye